Hi, I'm Paul Butler. I'm one of the client partners at New Leaf Training and Development, and I'm joined today by Kevin Rilf, a Deputy Division Manager at JPL, who I'm delighted to say are actually a client of ours. Hey, Kevin, the purpose of the Take Fives is to give people some practical help, provide some hope, and even sprinkle a little bit of humour. So I've just got one question, which I'd love you to run with for about four or five minutes, because we do call these Take Five for a reason. So here's the question. What would you say that you're learning personally, professionally, even as an organization during these rather challenging days? And tell us a little bit more about your work, what you do and who you serve. So over to you, Kevin, and I'll wrap it up when you're done. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so my name is Kevin Ralph, as Paul mentioned. I, I work at Jet Propulsion Laboratory out here in you know, California. Um, been here for over 20 years now. It's an amazing place to work. And how many places do you get to work where you can say, you know, I help put stuff on other planets? Uh, so that's a, that's a pretty awesome thing about JPL. So, you know, JPL really's focus is on the scientific and, and robotic exploration of space. I never really thought about that until somebody explained to me, we build a lot of robots, whether it's actual rovers or a satellite, it's all things that have to work autonomously and send back data. Um, we can send commands up, but you know, you're, you sort of have to have everything right before you put it on the rocket ship and, and send it off. And so in, in addition to looking at other planets, JPL looks a lot at the Earth too, and looks at the Earth sciences, and you know, what is happening in the ocean temperatures and, and the, the, the amount of water throughout the world. It's, it's amazing the amount of science that goes on here on a daily basis. Um, and it's, it's a privilege to be a part of it, it really is. Mm. Um, and so my area is in, in IT, information technology. I try to make sure all, all the computers keep running, whether it's a computer on somebody's desktop or a server running a mission or the network um, and, and, and or even our connections to the deep space network. JPL is one of the few places in the world, really, that has a network that goes outside of the Earth, uh, <laughs> near Earth area. So you want to go and talk to a robot or a satellite that's around another planet? JP is helping make sure that happens. So, and and my area makes sure that the IT that runs all that keeps going. And so, um, yeah, it, it has definitely been uh, an interesting time. Um, JPL has been, it, it's a single location. Um, so we are in, you know, the foothills of, of, of La Cunada, Flint Ridge, and everybody really has been there. And, and it's been an atmosphere where people really like the, you, you bump into each other as you walk from meeting to meeting, from building to building. It's a lot like a college campus. And that's been one of the harder things to try to replicate in this realm where we don't really have that interaction of bumping into each other. We come onto these wonderful little Zoom meetings and look at each other with their cameras and, and get to see each other, but it's all planned. It's not a lot of that just interactivity. Um, and so we've been trying to look at technologies that sort of allow for that a little bit more. Um, and, and one of the big ones, uh, I think it's a pretty wide one used, is Slack uh, or Microsoft Teams, which is works pretty well like a bulletin board. Um, and, and we've actually tried to focus in this time of trying to have people post you know, about their life. It doesn't all have to be work. Um, and, and, and we can get together and talk work stuff, or we can talk about, you know, the vacation that we wish we were on, or the great pictures of the garden that people have put together in their backyards. Um, it's been really amazing uh, to see everybody supporting each other and, and, and really putting themselves out there on probably a more personal basis. And I will say that in some ways to see a bright side of this is I think some people are opening up a little bit more where they wouldn't have before. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you get in the work environment you get so focused on that, this goes, you know, gets you a little bit more out there. And I, I will say, you know, on, on personal level, I have found, you know, it, my wife and I take, you know, four mile walks every morning now, get a little bit more exercise. I'm probably eating a little more than I actually should, but hey, you know, uh, but, you know, I think it was funny. I to sort of finish this off of the, you know, what have I learned from this? I watched an interview the other day with Ryan Reynolds on the Today Show. And I think he put it really the best where he said, I think the best thing about the pandemic has been the time that I get to spend with my family and kids an incredibly concentrated amount of time that in this period in their lives that I'll never get back. And the worst thing about the pandemic is this incredibly concentrated amount of time that I spend with my family and kids that I'll never get back. I, th I think that sort of sums it up pretty well. <laughs> That's brilliant. 
Uh, Kevin, thanks ever so much. On behalf of everyone who watches these, and I've become immensely popular, uh, thank you, Kevin, so much for your insights. And thank you so much for the great work that you do over at JPL. It's been a real pleasure to uh, have this little bit of time with you today. Could I offer you a virtual high five, Kevin? Absolutely.